Hello everyone, today we have an exciting new project, a mystical witch in a watercolor park. This piece can be done using just two colors, or even one, and it will still look beautiful. We'll paint the fog using the wet on wet technique, and the witch will be created using the wet on dry technique, adding details as we go. Let's prepare our materials. This one is perfect for those who enjoy something a bit spookier for Halloween. I'll be using square format paper Fabriana brand with 25% cotton content. You also need a paper towel, a jar of water, a palette, a pencil and eraser for sketching. I'll be using two brushes, one larger and one smaller. On my table today, I have my favorite watercolor set with chronoration from White Knights. You can find the full list of materials along the links in the description below this video. Here are the two beautiful cars I'll be using for this project. You can easily replace these shades with water if you prefer. Here's the sketch. I've marked the main details, but feel free to create your own unique design. These areas will be the fog, with more light in the center. Be careful not to press too hard with your pencil, so it doesn't leave marks when you erase it later. So pause the video and sketch it out. I lightened some lines with needed eraser, so they are just barely visible, including the top circle as well. This area will be lighter, and this area will be darker. Before starting, add a drop of water to each color you plan to use to make it easier to pick up the paint with your brush. I'm using my medium brush to wet the paper inside the circle around the witch with clean water. If any puddles form, I blow them with a semi-dry clean brush and wipe it on the paper towel. Let the water soak into the paper for about 20 seconds, just enough for the areas to stay wet, and then we'll start painting the fog. Using the same brush, I apply dark shades along the outline. I'll begin with white shadows, and add a little dark blue shadows to it. I pick up violet shadows quite intensely from the palette and apply it to these two edges. Now, I'll dilute this color with more water and apply it to the next areas, blending it into the dark shade. As I approach the light areas, I'll simply add water and keep blending. This is the first layer. We'll do the same thing on the other side.
you can always adjust the circle with a fine brush. If a drop falls, I'll just blot it with a paper towel. Now we are the next color while the paper is still wet. If it starts to dry, dry the paper completely with a high dryer, then lightly re-wet these areas with clean water. I pick up dark blue shadows and lighten it by adding water, then blending it into white shadows. The colors should mix lightly. I'll keep the color very light to our to reach to create a beautiful contrast. Now with a smaller brush, I'll darken the left side slightly by adding a few touches of violet shadows. My paper has already partially dried and I suggest adding a light splatter to create an interesting effect, with some splatters on the wet paper and some on the dry areas. I'll do the splatter with a thin brush starting with blue, then adding some violet. Any excess drops will be absorbed with a damp brush and blotted with a paper towel. Add some splatter with wallet. In the center, I also blot any excess drops. If it's more convenient, you can skip the splatter and simply place a few dots here and there. Once everything is completely dry, we'll start painting the wedge. You can even mix the colors on the palette. I apply the first layer, which is quite light. The hair will glow along the edges, so I leave it light there and start adding color from the rest of the area.
You can mix a bit of blue into the wallet for a nice harmony in the background. While the dress is too wet, I'll add dark folds and shadow details. The hair in the center will also be dark. Let's add more shadow parts. I'll paint the hands with a very light blue. For the hat, I'll leave a small light spot at the top. I soften the hard edge with water to create a transition from darker to lighter. Add more details to the dress. The broom will be simply paint.
Add more shadow areas if you'd like. Sign your work and we're done! I'm sure everyone has created or will create their own unique artwork. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos. See you next time!